Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with another Divi Pro Tip. Today I'm going to show you how to put two blocks of dynamic content next to each other. So essentially we're going to just stack two modules that have a different dynamic content field and place them next to each other. By default you can't really do that. Let's say you want to have, you know, the blog category next to the blog um, date, you know, or something like that, and you want to put them next to each other. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really quick. Let's get started. So when you're working with templates in the theme builder or just building your Divi layout, there's a lot of times where you're going to need to put two dynamic content modules next to each other. So it's kind of like you want to put, um, you know, maybe the blog date and then the author and category side by side. But when you start adding modules, you know, they just stack like normal and you'd have to start putting them in a bunch of different columns and things like that. And that just doesn't work. So I'm going to show you quickly what I'm envisioning here. And you can um, just do this with any type of dynamic content. So I'm going to go in here and add a text module. And then in the text module, what I'm going to do is use that for um, adding a piece of dynamic content. So I'm going to go ahead and add something here. Um, let's just say, um, you know, the, see how all these things are for the post. So let's say like the post author. All right. That's a good one. And then we'll say, um, this post is written by, and then have a space and then it will say the name. And, um, my point is here, I want to make it kind of like a sentence. Um, let's just go ahead and duplicate that. And, and therefore I want it to be next to each other. So let's add another piece of dynamic content here. Let's say uh, categories, for example. So, you know, this post is written by, you know, John Doe. And then we could say something like, put a space in is filed under, and then another space. So then like, you know, it reads as a sentence, it's written by John Doe and filed under the post category. Okay, so we want these to be side by side. So all we have to do is go in here to each module, go to the advanced tab, custom CSS toggle, and in this main element here, we're gonna write display colon, and then say inline dash block, and a semicolon, okay? We can actually copy that, we don't have to write it again. We're gonna put it in each module. So let's go back here to the other one and we'll go to the same thing, go to the settings, the advanced tab, and then this custom CSS toggle main element and place that in there. Okay. So you can see it updated. Now you might want to go back in here and um, adjust some of the spacing because you see how they, um, they literally butt up against each other now. Okay. So they're displaying in line in this, in this um, row here. So like, let's go in here to the first one or the second one doesn't matter but and let's just say um, I want a little bit of margin so you can see there between John Doe and something like that where it makes it look like a nice sentence okay so you can just keep going so that's really just how you do it you can add as many of these as you want um, you might want to add meta you know you could use this for a bunch of different things I have the the other tutorial on my um, auto updating footer copyright and you might want to put something else beside that. It would be the same type of thing. So it's a lot of uses for this. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so that's how you combine dynamic content fields and put those next to each other in Divi. If you found that helpful, then you're gonna like our channel. We have lots of tips like that, tutorials, courses, and all that stuff. So be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.